Hi loves, it's Lacey and welcome back to our space. So today is reveal day. About a week ago, I put out an open invitation to a collaboration that I'm hosting here on my channel called My Favorite DIY Craft Projects. And what I want you guys to do is just to share three to five of your favorite DIY projects that you've done on your channel. So it's a real easy collaboration to do. There's no cost. You don't have to go spend any money to do anything and you don't have to make anything. You just have to show things that you've already made. I also said if you made something and you gifted it away already, you can just show some footage from your video of what you made if that's one of your favorite projects. So I created a playlist and I'm going to link that down in the description below. If you participated in this collaboration, you can add your own video to that playlist with a link that I will provide. If you have trouble with that, don't worry, just contact me and I will link your video into that playlist. But first, I am going to share three to five, okay, you know, I'm going to share five because I had a hard time just narrowing it down to those five. There's no way I can leave out a couple of these. I've done so many DIYs on my channel and a lot of them are my favorites, but I have five of them for you right now. Starting with this. This is the Succulent Heart Shape Reef and it is one of the very first DIYs I did here on my channel. It is made with all Dollar Tree products except for the reef form. I thrifted or uh, got this from a garage sale for little or nothing, but the rest of it is all from Dollar Tree. The ribbon, the uh, succulents, and the moss that's on here, and I love how it turned out. I love it so much that I made it part of my logo, and you guys see this at the beginning of every single one of my videos from the time I changed this channel just to Lacey's Space. So yeah, I love this, and I have made several of these and gifted them to people over the course of this last year. And this is number one, my favorite. Now moving on to number two, it's succulents also. So hold on just a sec. Okay, here is the second favorite DIY project that I've ever done. Actually, these aren't in any particular order except for my heart-shaped one. That was my number one favorite. The rest of them, they just kind of go in order of how I'm going to present them. But this is made with succulents and a terrarium top and a thrifted plate on the bottom. This was a dupe for an item. I did a video that was an inspiration video and my inspiration piece came from Pier 1 Imports. The Pier 1 Imports one was like $35, I think, and I'm not even sure if the succulents were in it or not. This cost me nowhere near $34 because the top was thrifted, the bottom is simply a salad plate, and then all the succulents came from the Dollar Tree. So yeah, I love this. I love the fact that I can place it out all year round and I don't think I've put it away ever since I made it and that was over a year ago. So now on to number three. Number three, I made last year around the Christmas holiday time and it is this. It is my gem encrusted ice bucket. I saw an ice bucket like this at Home Goods, and I do believe the price was like $50. It might have even been $60. And I said, oh no. I knew that the Dollar Tree had silver ice buckets, and I also knew I had a ton of crystals already in my stash. I think I did have to buy a few more of the bigger ones, and I made this. Every time someone comes over to my house, they ask me where I bought it and where they could get one. And I have to tell them I made it from the Dollar Tree. And I'm not even sure if they still carry the silver ice buckets. Hopefully, maybe they'll be bringing them back for the holiday season. But yeah, I love this. And it was so, so simple to do. Now, if you are new to my channel, then you probably don't know. But if you've been around for a while, you definitely know. I have a affection or obsession. I'm not sure which with cake stands, cake plates. I have so many cake plates and I use them for everything. And of course, this would not be a Lacey Space video if I didn't have a cake plate in it. And of course, I made several. Most of them have been crystal in the last few, I don't know, months, but I'm gonna share with you guys this one. This is my pumpkin one. Since we are headed into fall, I made this with two carpable pumpkins and a charger from the Dollar Tree and a lot of ribbon and stuff that I had already in my stash. It was so simple to do. The biggest part was the drying time and 
I love how this turned out. And now that the fall season is here, I'm gonna be pulling it back out to use this year. So, yep, number four is this? Yes, four is cake stands. And believe me, I'll be using a lot of cake stands over the year. Now, number five, I'm gonna have to move my camera to show you guys because it is hanging on the inside of my front door right now. It probably is my second favorite of all time DIYs that I did because I absolutely love my reef, but this I fell in love with. It turned out so much better than I thought it was going to. And it is my scroll art that I did for last Christmas season. So let me move the camera so you guys can get another look at it. And here is number five in my favorite of all time DIYs. I have to say, yep, I think this is my second favorite of all time. I was really, really happy with how this turned out. It is some scroll paper, and it's actually not scroll paper, I guess. It's paper from Target's dollar spot. It was only a dollar. One side of it is red, and the other side is the tan color, and I didn't even know that when I bought it. I thought when I unrolled it, it would all be red, and so I was pleasantly surprised, and I think it turned out really, really nice with this. The ribbon I got from Joann's, I do believe, and then the greenery with the acorns and stuff already had. I basically took my time and etched out the little saying on there and it turned out really, really lovely. I, it cost me little or nothing. I had leftover supplies for all of it. So this is my second favorite, but number five in the list of all my favorite DIYs. So that is it. Those are my five favorite DIY craft projects that I've shown here on my channel. Uh, let me know down below which one was your favorite or do you remember another craft project that I did in the past that you are surprised didn't make this list because yeah, it was really hard to narrow it down. I am going to include the playlist down below of all the other participants in this, like I said before. Make sure you go by and check out that playlist and show everyone else some love and see exactly what they made. I cannot wait to watch all of their videos. So I wanna thank you guys so much for watching, for liking and always sharing my videos. And if you are not a member here at Lacey Space yet, I don't know why not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hang out with us for a while. We have a lot of fun here. Also, if you like, you can follow me on Instagram. I think I'll be sharing some pictures of some of these if they're not already out there. And if they are, you can scroll through and check them out. It is Lacey Space the same way that it is spelled here. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye, loves.